Mai, female 42, sister, female 39, told my son that she is going to be his mother because I have terminal cancer. Okay, let's hear more. Yeah, this isn't going to be good. Mm -mm. You always hit me with these, like, just absolute. Uh, I want to find this woman and spit gum on her. Okay. I have stage four breast cancer. It's terminal. I'd most likely have two years or less left. Because of this, I'm spending as much time as possible with my son, who is 14, and my family. Just for extra information, I am a widow. My late husband was killed by a hit-and-run driver years ago. A week ago, I overheard a conversation between my sister and my son. She was telling him that since his mother, me, was going to die, she will be his mother. I was horrified. My son strangely seemed to agree, but he was in tears. My sister wasn't. I'm quite close to my sister, so I know that she really loves my son. She has never had a child herself, and she kind of treats my son like her own. I had a problem with it, but she told me she was just loving him, so I put it aside. I didn't know it would escalate to this. I confronted her a few days ago after careful thinking. I asked her why she told my son that without asking me first, and she said, but isn't that the truth? To be honest, I am not sure if I can trust my sister with my dear son. I never really thought she was fit to be a mother, especially not to him. I said that it would be my choice, not hers. She agreed, but she said she was the most suitable person to parent him. Her exact words were, quote, I will take care of him well. You wouldn't need to worry. I will be a good mother to my son's name. I don't want my sister to be my son's mother. I am not on my deathbed, but I am nearing my end. It just really breaks my heart to hear my sister talking about how she'd take over my position as a mother when I go. My sister said she'd give me space to think. What do I do? I know I shouldn't be on Reddit for this, but I have exhausted the people in which I can ask advice from. Thank you. What is there to think about? I guess if she still puts in her will that like rights would go to her sister. How old is the boy? 14. Okay, so he needs like a legal guardian. Yeah, at least two years. I think what's tripping me up about this story is like the the wording. Mm-hmm. I think it's the language and that just goes to show how powerful language can be. What mm-hmm. turns me off is like the sister saying, I will be his mother. He doesn't Terrible. need a mother. He has a mother. And even after his mother passes away, he doesn't need a new mother. Mm-hmm. He needs a like a, a guardian. He needs... A know, guardian. A, a, like a supervisor and a, a family member or somebody he can rely on and, you know, be a role model and support him. But he doesn't need another mother. So I think what turns me off so much about this is her sister basically self-determining that she will be the new mother of her of her son when that's just so inappropriate. And even if she was going to declare a new mother for her son, it would be OP's decision, not a self-proclaimed relative getting to just claim that title. No, I completely agree. I think her saying, oh, I'll be your mother, unhinged. Yeah. You're not his mother. Absolutely not. He doesn't need a mother. You're not his mother. You didn't birth him. You didn't adopt him and raise him from Mm -hmm. an infancy. You didn't foster parent him. No. There's like no application here to where you would even be considered his mother. Correct. You're his aunt Mm -hmm. who is doing a great service to your sister Mm -hmm. after her passing to look out for her son, right. to care for her son, to right. support him. You're not his fucking mother. No. And like I said, I think the only per- person who bears that decision is the OP, the, the mm-hmm. actual mother. One day when this, when her son becomes an adult at 18 and has, you know, autonomy, he can then say, would you be my, like my bonus mom? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? He can decide you're like a mother to me. Sure. But this aunt cannot just declare herself a mother. That just turns me off so much. I think it's so wrong. It's so, so, so wrong. It's insensitive too. Well, and it's, you know, 14 is still, it's very young in the sense that, you know, you're not driving yet. You don't have a lot of responsibilities. You're still a kid. 14 is young. You're still a kid. And so he's probably trying to wrap his head around this diagnosis and like this timeline where, I could lose my mom in a year. I could lose my mom in two years. And like having someone take advantage of him and, you know, he's such a vulnerable kid. The aunt is taking advantage of him. Mm -hmm. She is being so cruel to this little boy who's probably already struggling with so, so much. Yeah. 
And then to like just like kind of latch onto those vulnerabilities. He's scared about losing his mom. Mm-hmm. He probably does want his mom, a mom. A like, mom, yeah. So for him to like agree in that moment, it's kind of like, yeah, you're right. Like he's probably just so scared. I think about my sister who's 14 and mm-hmm. how that is a very vulnerable age. It's a very formable age, if that's a word, where you're still obviously like – have 10 plus years left of development, your mm-hmm. prefrontal cortex, all of those things, those are such forming years, forming years, like your pre, like your teens. You're a little sponge still. You're still a little sponge and like losing your mom at any age is so scary. I mean, the thought of losing my mom at, you know, the tender age of 27 scares me, but I can't even imagine at 14. And he feels vulnerable because once his mom does pass and since his dad was tragically killed, he doesn't have anybody. So he's probably thinking, yes, of course I'm going to say, I want you to be my mom. You're yeah. the only thing I'll have left. Mm-hmm. And he probably loves his aunt, but as an aunt. And it's just everything about this to me is wrong on all cylinders. From the way that she approached it, the way that she discussed it with the son without going to her sister first, the the, the language being used, I'll be your mother. All of this is so wrong to me. I would be wildly infuriated. <laughs> infuriated? That's You're word. so mad you can't even say it. Yeah. Infuriated. Infuri- Whoa. Here we go again. Words are hard. Words are hard. <laughs> Words are hard. Infuriated. Okay. I'm, that I'm, sounds right. I'm going to... Yep, that one. <laughs> Let me know, guys. You always do. I don't know. Let me know. You know what, though? I will say, because I have listened to your episodes where people correct your language and your words or whatever. I think... I mess up words a lot and I know that I do, but I think if you say words like confidently, like say it with your chest, you almost have people wondering if they're saying it wrong. And I think that's the key. Like just say it so confidently that people don't question it. I try. They still do. Well, haters going to hate. Um, yeah, I completely agree. I'm trying to find it on Reddit because I want to read the comments on this one. Mm-hmm. And I took the screenshot ages ago. So found the post. Mm-hmm. Top comment, 1.6 thousand upvotes. Yeah, I think this is pretty gross. Of course this isn't what you want, but the fact that she is your sister does not automatically mean that she is the most logical choice to care for your son. You get to choose that person or people. Maybe it's her, maybe it's someone else, but you get to choose based on who will respect your wishes and raise your son accordingly, and that may not be her. Also, she will never be his mother. You are not replaceable. You are the only mother he will ever have. He knows that even if your sister is clueless and cruel. I am so sorry you are going through this. Bingo. He does not need another mother. No. I think too, like kind of what this person said, you need someone who will respect your wishes and raise your son accordingly. Mm -hmm. And I look at making the choice of who you would want to take care of your child after you're gone. And I would not not want someone who is already, before I'm even gone, Mm -hmm. starting to disrespect my role and my memory. Yeah, totally. It's like you're already proving that you are actually not a fit choice. Completely. Mm-hmm. I. It's like the bed is still warm. Like why do people rush into taking over other people's roles and responsibilities before that person's even, you know what I mean? It's so yeah. preemptive. It's so unnecessary. The fact that you can even mentally have, like go there. Like I know you're trying to maybe be proactive and make sure that like the intentions might or might not be good to make sure that the son knows he's being take, he's going to be taken care of let your sister know her son's in good hands but you're going about it so wrong and just like it's so cruel yeah i don't have any other word other than it's very cruel it's cruel i have experienced something like this like recently like my mom's longtime partner he's been in my life since i was like 7 9 i don't even know oh. but they've been together forever they're engaged They were planning on like an Italian wedding and then he got diagnosed with stage four cancer. Mm -hmm. And so it was like a couple weeks after, like he had just gotten the diagnosis and people were already coming at him being like, well, like who's your life insurance policy going to? Like, like who, who, who are you leaving this to? Who are you leaving that to? And it's like, Mm -hmm. he just got his fucking diagnosis. We don't even know like anything yet. He hadn't, I don't even think he had started chemo at that point. And like, it's just like, to me, I'm like, that doesn't matter. Yeah. Do you love the person or not? Right. That stuff, I, there are certain loose ends that maybe need to be tied up, like make sure your will is like correct and all that stuff. But there's a time for those types of questions and mm-hmm. housekeeping items. And I think timing is important. I think the, the like messaging is important. 
it just goes to show that the way that you do something, you know, really does matter. It, it can make a difference. If completely. she had gone about this completely differently, had maybe approached her sister and been like, hey, this isn't something you want to think about, but it's a reality. And I want to make sure that you know that if your son needs somebody, I'm there for him. And whoever you decide wants to be like his primary guardian, I will support and I will do everything I can to protect mm-hmm. him. But I just want you to know, like, I'm here for you. Yeah. And gone about it that way and not called herself the son's new mother and pulled the, the 14 year old aside to have a conversation about about it with him directly, I think this could look completely differently. Yeah. It's also the fact that like she overheard it, but uh, it, yeah. it almost seems like grooming is used typically mm-hmm. for a very like sexual way. Like you're grooming a little kid or like a younger yeah. adolescent, whatever, but it almost seems like that. It almost seems like she's planting these little seeds. Like priming. Priming. Yeah. I don't, yeah. Grooming wouldn't be the right term in this sense. I'm sure there but is an appropriate priming one. Him. But, yeah. Priming is, I, I forget. I took like psychology classes in college, but it's basically, it is something where you're like pretty much planting the seed and you're yeah. getting ready for that. Well, and it's almost like she wants him to like trauma bond to her. Yes. Or some, it yeah. just, it's icky. This it whole is icky. thing is fucking gross. Yeah. I don't like it. This woman. I don't like it at all. Is, that, that wouldn't go over well with me if I was the 14 year old. I'd be like, I don't, I have a mom. Thanks. Yeah. No, she is something else. I don't know if there's much between those two ears of hers because mm-hmm. <laughs> this is fucking bad. A good way to say call someone dumb. <laughs> That's a nice way to yeah. answer, yeah. Okay, you, you know, yeah, you didn't say it. I didn't technically say uh-huh. anything mean. Um, this was posted at today's date, this was posted two months ago. I'm just seeing if there's any comments from OP. No comments, Nada. nothing. So it kind of flew under the radar. I hope that she found you know the answer, the support she was looking for. When was this posted? Two months ago. The, the post? Mm-hmm. But hopefully everything goes okay. Mm-hmm. 